Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gaming Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guide series today. We're going to be taking a look at the Trial Dungeon for Endwalker, the Mother Crystal. Now this will have quite a big Endwalker spoiler, so if you're not at this point in the story, please come back when you are. But if this video helps you out in any way, please make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel as it really does help me out as a creator. Starting off for this fight, it's a good idea to mark the southeast and southwest portion of the platform with a marker to avoid one of the AoEs that will be cast during this fight. Highland will have three different AoEs depending on the type of weapon she is wielding at the time. When she casts Herosis Radiance, this will be party-wide damage that just needs to be healed through. When she teleports to the center of the platform and casts Dawn Mantle. If it is a red AoE that goes out from her, then you will need to move under her to avoid this AoE. Musa's Scorn is a tank buster ability that the two tanks will want to stack on top of each other to split the damage of. The next time Hydling casts Dawn Mantle, it should be the green ability that will do a circular AoE around herself, so you'll want to move away from her. She'll follow this up with Magosa's Radiance, and then the third and final Dawn Mantle. This will be the blue ability, which will do a AoE in the cardinal directions. So if you previously had marked the platform with the southeast and southwest areas, then you'll want to move to these markers. Herosis Sundering will be a singular tank buster ability that is a very large cone AoE, so no one will want to be on the side of the tank receiving this. The next time she casts Dawn Mantle, it'll be a random of the three previous abilities. So we received the green one, so we moved out to avoid the circular AoE. She'll follow this up with Magosa's Radiance, and then another Dawn Mantle. This time we received the blue one, so we needed to move out of the cardinal directions. When she becomes untargetable and says Crystals of Light to me, this will summon six different crystals around the platform that you will need to destroy before her conviction gets too high. During this time, there will be multiple AoEs that you'll also need to dodge. We started off with the yellow crystal of light, as the first AoE will be down the center of the platform. So by destroying this one first and moving to the outsides next, it allowed us to be in the correct position to avoid this AoE. Afterwards, she'll do a Crystalline Stone 3, which is a group up mechanic that you'll want to split the damage of and continue rotating around the platform. The next line AoE will be down the center, and if you're towards the back of the platform, this will be a good position to avoid most of this damage. After this, you'll have to deal with a circular AoE on all party members, so you'll want to spread out. When all of the crystals are dead, then you'll just want to group up in the middle of the platform for a little bit of AoE healing from the next damage that comes in. Fly, 
At this time, you'll go back to the Phase 1 abilities of Hydaelyn, along with the Crystallize ability being combined with them. So you'll have circular AoEs on all party members, and the group up AoEs that you'll have to deal with along with dodging the different AoEs that she was originally doing. So as you can see here, we had the red AoE, so we moved underneath her and then spread out to avoid the circular AoEs. Musa's Scorn is the tank buster ability that the tanks will want to group up on. When she casts Parhelion, then she'll throw out three sets of line AoEs. Shortly afterwards, the AoEs will return to the boss, but they will proceed through the boss to the opposite side. You'll want to position yourself next to the first group of AoEs that goes off, and preferably in the AoE of the third one, so you have time to reposition into the first one after it is performed. Next she'll do Dawn Mantle, followed by the group up AoE. So we received the green one, meaning we needed to move away, and but then also group up on a particular party member. She casts Parhelic Circle. This will summon multiple circular AoEs around the platform based on the lines from the original portal. That, so you'll want to position yourself in the openings where there are no lines to avoid most of this AoE. Next we received the Cardinal Direction Dawn Mantle along with the Crystallized Circular AoEs, so we needed to reposition to avoid both of these abilities. When Highland gets below 50%, she'll teleport to the middle and cast Radiant Halo. For the rest of the fight, she will then rotate between casting Light Wave, which will summon four different Light Waves onto the platform that you'll need to move out of as they progress across the platform. Before the Light Waves will charge across the platform though, Highland will cast Echoes, which you will need to group up to split the damage. This ability will deal four sets of damage, so you'll need to stay grouped up the entire time. Then reposition yourself into the opening to avoid the light waves as they go across the platform. While this is happening, Highland will cast Crystallize, moving to the center of the platform and casting Dawn Mantle. So you'll need to reposition depending on which of the Dawn Mantles you'll get, while also spreading out to avoid the Crystallize AoEs. And then it will rinse and repeat for the rest of the fight. So every light wave will be followed up with a echoes, so you'll need to group up first and then reposition into the openings for the light waves, followed by a crystallize and dawn mantle ability. So the only thing that will be changing is the AoE that is performed by the dawn mantle when she teleports to the center of the platform. Remember that Dawn Mantle will always be performed before the AoEs from Crystallize go off. So if you get the red AoE, then you will need to position yourself underneath her to avoid the large Donut AoE before spreading out for the Crystallize AoEs.
and this should be it for the mother crystal. I hope this helped everyone out. If it did, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch y'all in the next one.